top of the morning. It's 7.18 in New York at the moment. And we're going to come through with a quick review of yesterday's trading. We don't usually trade Mondays. As we treat Mondays more so like a Asian range day. Or the same way you would the Asian session. But uh, it's always nice to study it. And that's precisely what we're going to do. So we're gonna review it as if we didn't have today's trading. It's currently Tuesday. Uh, I did some videos earlier on. If they haven't already dropped, they should have dropped. Please check them out on the channel. Much appreciate the support. So essentially, this is what we're looking at, right? Pretty much, that'll be much what you're looking at. So I'm just gonna hide you for now, since you know. So, uh, I start off by marking out the previous day's daily high and low. That in this case, since we're reviewing Monday, it would be the daily high and low of Friday, and that's what we have here: the high and low, buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity. We then go down to the 4H just to take a look at the structure, what was going on at the time. Okay. Okay, 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 and then we go down to the 60 minute. Let's take a look. See, okay, okay, that's Friday. A lot of heat hand down on Friday. Now, Monday's trading. Monday started about there. I'll be okay. Go to the 15. So we got our first piece of action. Okay, midnight line over there. Daily high and low, M15 time frame. So we're currently at with it, All right? You've noticed we opened up a fair value gap around about, oh, it's my bad, wrong spot. Had a fair value gap open up at about half past one in the morning that day. Just extend that out in time. Put that down low like so. Okay. Bullish really gap. Simple. Nice clean. Okay. Just adjust it a bit there. Make it more. We'll refine it down as we scale down to so the five minute time frame. But now we just want to look at it. Note we have that buy side liquidity above us. We're currently here now. This was the start of the day. We broke structure over there and switched to being bullish. All right. Why do I keep opening the wrong apps, man? I need to stop this. All right, so you broke structure, switched to being bullish. Right over there. Price opened up with a fair uh, order block for value gap there. Hit it the first time. May have traded it down below it a bit, but like it didn't stop us out. The stop loss would have been below that low there, and then we'd be targeting that liquidity pool up ahead. So we can just go down to the five to further on refine it. Find our entry. As you can see on the five minute there. You can search bullish way early on. So the bullish switch occurred here. All right. So we have that fair value gap there. Let's refine it down a bit. Okay. Got the one entry at 3 a.m. on the dot. I wouldn't be happy with that. I'm a slightish fan I want, but not so much. What's the low of this candle? That's about 14946. So let's say 946.8, 946.6, okay. Okay, so we would have gotten the trigger in. Gotta be more precise with your levels. I've learned on multiple occasions that, hey, not having precise levels down to the tick would really kill me. 
because that really, in most cases, is all the difference. So we can see here those multiple opportunities to enter by the five minute. There was one at 3 a.m. on the dot. There was one at 10 past 3. There was one at uh, 20 minutes to 4. And there was one at quarter to 4 as well. Multiple entries. The stop loss would have been below there. That one over there. It's the M15 low. Where is that? Go to M15, scroll out, scroll out, scroll out, scroll out. Right here, that's where we're at. Go to the M15. Oh my gosh. Okay, buy it right over there. Just to stop. Target the liquidity pool there, 62 points. Clean. Just you. This would be right just below there. Let's see, give it some room there. We can even say down below that one. So it's a bit of nose. Beautiful. Four is to one. Four point three three risk reward ratio. And we hit it handsomely. That was the first trade offered to us yesterday for our silver bullets. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's make this bold so that we can see, right, the start of the day. Um, line, just somewhere out of text. Market. The market open. Okay, it looks a bit sus. Let me just say top. What is that? At the bottom. Yeah, much better. I like that bottom. Well, I'll say the top. Yeah, I prefer the top. You know. We're at the top for market open sweet now we have our bearings all right so clean there beautiful 14.5 point stop loss and then it reversed and went right up beautifully beautifully we could have held a bit longer and targeted that fair value gap over there that's another draw we could have used if we had a runner in play, ultimately got up to there. But you know, yeah. Nice, beautiful bread and butter. 62 points, you know. We're okay, now moving over to our PM or AM London. New York session silver bullet at 10. Put the line there, Alt B. It's a bit thick. Let's reduce that. Okay. Okay, now prior to this, what was going on? Got it at 10. 10k shot up and then proceeded to make our way down. Let's go to the M5. Lots of chop. Got a breaker block there, though. Could have taken an inch in the breaker block. But this is silver bullet. Let's go to the M3. Scale down, see what we are offered. Okay, a bit bigger.
but on this M1, let's scroll down. You can hear the trading viewers doing a number on my laptop. 